Once again. Whoa. Let the Lord of the Woods' azure eyes guide you. That's right, diving. We have harpoons, which can stun creatures, or flares, which can light our way and distract people. Okay. Azure eyes? Lord of the Woods. Why is the Lord of the Woods in the water? Did you pick the wrong place to be at, my lord? Seems like there's some kind of thing we can explore somewhere, but... The edges of the screen are definitely a little bit strange, right? Yeah, when we're here. But when I look at it... Oh! Oh my god. Guess we better have a harpoon ready. It's, it's waving. Ooh. That's blinding me a little bit. I guess we should follow this path here. Can we get up? We can't really jump. But if we find the right spot to walk, because that's definitely the right way, judging by the statues here. No? Here we go. Well, we got that. At least we're not seeing anybody so far. If we're lucky, I think we should be expecting to see people. Because we know the people from the church have a hideout here. But... Are they all dead? Are they all kind of nuts? <gasps> Whoa, I nearly died. We gotta be careful here. Flares. Oh, oh, the, the little things in the ground are hurting me. I gotta either walk fast or avoid them. Or neither. That's totally acceptable. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw a flare? Oh, I gotta stop walking into those places. Go there, please. Is that a normal beast, or I don't even know? Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh, there we go, there we go. not chasing me. How do they have all this money to build all this equipment? Building a base underwater? Or maybe a lot of it was already here to begin with. Do we know where we are? No. People? 
Diving suits, boots. Hello. Why are you here? You look like a fresh wound. Yeah, well, you're no oil painting yourself, fella. Imbecile. Strike us down and many more will rise. Fresh from the feckin' mother's womb. Slick, naked, yet burgeoning with strength. Our eyes infest this city. Our hands, too. We fill young Graham with our words. And soon he will be hollow. What? The feckin' mother? What is that? What was that about young Graham? His house is divided. It cannot stand. The young will secede the old, as new shoots rise from decay. Our growth shall choke the sun. The veins we open will seed crimson blossoms. The feckin' mother grants new life. You should have stayed above. Ooh. Wait, are you hurting me? Are you- are you trying to fight me? What are you doing? Why are you getting closer? Oh, wow! Oh! You, do you really want to fight? If you do, I'll gladly comply. Oh! My god. We gotta get that thing. It's throwing stuff- oh! Oh, you wanna fight too! But I didn't even say I was against this! I didn't say anything of the sort! Really. Oh, please tell me that's okay. I don't have any grenades. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Guys, I'm not ready for this. No grenades. No firebombs. Okay. Uh. I think if we want to live, we'll probably have to... <laughs> I was a little bit suspicious when they gave me a first aid kit in the beginning. Hold on. I'm okay. Oh! I'm stuck here. Whoa! I'm completely stuck. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm still in the game. Don't count me out just yet. These wild beasts. You got more for me? Nope. Oh, you must want me to throw them back at you. Or something. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not doing good psychologically or health-wise right now, but I'll try my best. Is that what you want? I'll read that later. We can't afford to lose any more health right now. Take it! Oh! I was standing right next to the thing, but I couldn't take it. Well, that's okay. Maybe we'll go in a little bit more prepared this time. Thank you. Would you like to fight? It's already throwing up these things to begin with. All I gotta do is... Pick them up. Is that good enough? Please. There's even police officers here, my god. I gotta get better at picking them up. Did that do anything? Is 
Sometimes I just get hit by them. Oh my hell! There's actually a heck ton of people around us, besides for the people attacking us. But they're praying. Oh! <laughs> he died. Gotta be a little bit faster. I don't want to pick him up. It's a little dangerous. Once more? Am I even doing this right right now? I can't tell because this thing doesn't really have a health bar. Should I be trying to shoot you at the same time? I don't really know. Is that helping at all? That seems like a good throw. Yes! Yes! How many people are still alive? You're dead. You're dead. You're praying. But you might as well be dead. Look at the variety of people here though. They're all dressed differently, so I think this cult's got everybody. Songs of the Horned Woods. La. Ya. Ya. We'll feed the daughter of the woods so she devours the weak flesh. Ya. Shub Nigarath. A mortal man is allowed to touch the womb of the life. Ya. A mortal man is allowed to be reborn in a new form. Ya. A mortal man will gain a thousand faces, a thousand eyes, and a thousand vessels for his mind. That's a really big handprint. These guys seem to believe some kind of... I don't even know what they believe in. They think they'll be reborn by the feckin' mother? Whoever that is? Don't mind if I take these, huh? Ooh, I definitely feel like I need to resupply a little bit. Didn't use any shotguns. Yeah, I'm not sure what really put in the most work there. No? Was that for the other gun? Uh, I guess that's full. <sighs> Look at this altar. It's like a spider or something. Wait, the slime goes all the way. From the altar to the little hole or the other way around? A letter from the church. Thus far, old Brutus has refused the gifts of the Lord of the Woods and the Feckin' Mother. This is our chance to change Oakmont once and for all. Help Graham, the son, to get rid of his father. And all the streets of the city shall be open for us. If Graham refuses our wishes, you know what you have to do. Oh, I think we're getting a bit of a dilemma again. Because it seems like Graham is being controlled, but he's being controlled in a way where he's trying to do good things for the city. Let's... Ah, oh, now that's a familiar smell. Like you're dead skunk. Well made, pricey. Stole it from Brutus's house, probably. Uh, just standing here is making me go psychotic. What exactly? Uh, are you my mommy? Where's my mommy? What you making, kid? Got anything to eat? I'm... I'm hungry. Standing on the altar itself is making me feel really unwell. Oh, Yeah, they want me to look at the mine palace here. I got one point from the feckin' mother. It was like a rot worm or something. Reload revolver faster. I want something for my shotgun. 
Load two more shells? I would love that, thank you. Clean the streets with wider shotgun spread and improve damage. Can't wait till we get more weapons. Ooh. We have good weapons, but even for the feckin' mother thing just now, we didn't get to use any of it because the big thing to get rid of it was using its own eggs or whatever it was spewing out. Graham had a deal with the church. Or the church can control Graham. These are at opposites, right? No. It's not really having a deal with the church if you're being controlled. It's a cult, not a church. The cultists can manipulate Graham. The cult will try to use Graham to grow their power base in Oakmont. Which means... Will Graham be able to stand firm? And resist the cult's influence? Or is he nothing more than a puppet, his strings pulled by the cult? Hard to say because... Okay, what are the things that the cult has done for him so far? They've helped him get rid of his father to put him into power? Mmm, I don't feel like we really know too much about him because we've only had one conversation. For now, I'll say this one. Graham wants to take Brutus's place. Graham is the one who tried to take Brutus's place as the head of the family. Help Brutus. Brutus must be the head of the Carpenter family. He may be cruel, but at least he won't be manipulated by the cult. Okay. What if we say that Graham is a puppet, but Brutus is also not worth helping out? Nothing happens. So it's just like choosing between Anna and Cavendish then. If we say that Brutus isn't gonna change, but Graham will be fine, then help Graham. The family will be in good hands with Graham. He'll change the city for the better and be able to resist the cult. Hmm. Well, instinctively, I feel like I would want to help Brutus because Graham is willing to cut a deal with the cult just to get this done. I think I also feel this way because we've talked to Brutus a lot more than Graham. For Graham, our conversation was really just talking about that one sack of potato, and that was pretty much it. But I think the difficulty here lies in that Graham is doing good things for the city, whereas Brutus is not that generous, but he's also not being influenced by the cult. Mmm, if we really want to screw things up for the whole town, I feel like we would want to side with Graham, because I know he's trying to do good things here, but... If the whole city sinks, and the Cthulhu rises, then there's not gonna be a town anymore. Yeah, I feel like I want to side with Brutus more. Because when I was talking to him, he voluntarily told me that he wants to change, because of his brush with death. It's not like I asked him, hey, are you gonna be a really cruel person even though I help you out here? And he even mentioned to me that he just wants to know what happened, he doesn't want to kill the assassin. I feel like I do want to believe in him. Even though, in this kind of situation, maybe it's going to be more probable that the town will make it out okay, but everyone's still going to be kind of poor and not well off. I guess it really boils down to, would you rather have a town that's poor, but in control of its own destiny, or a well-off town at the mercy of some ancient underwater gods? I'm not quite sure. Maybe somebody can give me some guidance back above ground. Is that how diving suits work in real life, by the way? They just kind of have this balloon thing. Maybe older style diving suits? They just have a balloon. That's it? I am kind of curious about the option of helping Graham though, because... Like I said, I'm sort of interested in seeing a interesting story, as opposed to a story where everyone's alive. <laughs> Something's chewed this one up real bad. But you know what? Today, let's make a decision that is probably better for the people of Oakmont. Probably. 
So should I be going back to Brutus now? Yeah, look at this letter from the church. If Graham refuses our wishes, you know what you have to do. It sounds like they would want to kill him, so maybe that's not such a good thing. Let's get back to the Seven Oaks Inn area then. Before we go to Brutus, we can also get back to the Seven Oaks Inn because that officer, I finished taking the photos of all the crime scenes for him. Whoa, dude. All your customers are gone. Pick your poison. Is the officer still around here? Yeah? Here he is. Oh. Take care. This guy is also part of the photo club, huh? That's what all these pictures were. I know why you wanted this case cracked. Found some clues in Becker's house. And you were close, weren't you? How dare you. I... He... He was special. A man you meet only once in life. He... Understood me. I won't stop until I find those who did it. I'm sorry for your loss, Sam. And don't worry. I'm a private eye. Emphasis on the private. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate it. Then you really shouldn't even have brought it up to begin with. Ah, he was the guy in the vision. I hadn't even realized. There's a link between all the victims. I found these cards in each house. A photography club membership. They all had them. Yeah. Seems like a good place to investigate. Thank you, Reed. I knew you'd find something. <laughs> I might pay this club a visit. See if there's anyone who has an issue with them. I got those photos you wanted. You got my compensation? Terrific, thank you. Uh, here, take this. Some of these were pretty horrible. I hope you find the killer. Me too, Reed. Me too. Take care. Well, good luck with it. It seems like that's it. We can't go to the photography club ourselves? Oh, that's how we get the police costume. Cool. Maybe we'll go back to the hospital, or not hospital, the hotel and try it sometime. Oh? Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Where'd you come from? Maybe if I wear the police costume around, people will start respecting me a little bit more, huh? Maybe, just maybe. Brutus's hideout is... behind me. When he was talking, I thought that they would send me to the photography club too, but that's the end of that, so will we ever find the killer? Maybe that's part of a different case, who knows. Hmm... I'm trying to think about Brutus right now, and remember that dead woman in the basement? I think that was supposed to sow some seeds of doubt in you. Because you're not really sure of the whole situation. Was it really not Brutus's fault that she died? According to the vision, the warding was kind of ambiguous because they said, let's finish this up before Papa Brute gets here. So it's not exactly saying that he wasn't involved in it, but I guess I'll choose to believe him anyway. I'll have all your stuff. Okay, here goes nothing. I know who's behind the attempt on your life, Mr. Carpenter. And? Don't make me wait, kid. Oh. First, I want to know what your plans are for when you resume as head of the family. Everything will go back to how it was before. Tradition exists for a reason, kid. Besides, it's none of your damn business. Yeah, so that's why you wouldn't want to pick him, because people are poor, he's part of the grand family, but he doesn't really have any interest in making the place better for people. He's surely not going to be the one giving out the sack of potatoes. Oh, But Graham might be controlled by the cult. In fact, I would say he is. I wouldn't even say he might be. 
This one's kind of hard too. But I'll believe in you. Even if people are poor, you're not gonna hurt the women and children for no reason. Right? It was your son, Graham. He got mixed up with some kind of cult. They helped him to create your doubles. M my my son? You'd better be sure about this. I am. He paid for your cremation. I found this letter in the cultist's lair. There's no doubt it was him. Graham was in cahoots with these wackos? That's... that's hard to take in. I mean, we've had our differences, but this... I'm sorry, Mr. Carpenter. Like, I don't mean to be rude, but there's still the matter of smuggling my client out of Oakmont. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, okay, kid. You've done well. I'll keep my end of the bargain. Your man will leave the Borg tomorrow night. Tell him to be ready. Thank you. I guess that's back to the fish market for us. Will that be it? Hey, what's your business, kid? Are you gonna do something to Graham? It seemed like he did genuinely want the place to be better, and he just realized that his dad wasn't gonna be the one to make these changes, and he happened to seek out the wrong clan. So from that perspective, I don't really like what I've decided here either. But really, messing with the cult is not a good idea either. Was that case completed then? Yes. All we gotta do is go back to Fred at the fish market. We can do another historical heritage thing here. Where is the historical heritage? I know you're here. Somewhere. Fred? Are you still standing here? It's done, Fred. The Carpenters will be getting in touch soon. Now, do you have something for me? Oh, perfect. All right, listen up. I've arranged a meeting with a certain high-ranking member of the EOD. His name is Ebenote Blackwood. Blackwood? Wasn't that supposed to be one of the Grand Families, but they're not here anymore? I haven't had the pleasure. Anything I should know about him? Ebenote is a preacher at the fish market and a high-ranking priest within the Order. Very knowledgeable and very dangerous if you cross him. So I recommend that you don't cross him. Follow me so far? Gotcha. Keep talking. If the Order knows something, it's a good bet that Ebeno does too. If they have your professor, he knows where she's being kept. I'll give you the address of the meeting place. He'll be expecting me, not you. So keep your wits about you. Does he know what you look like? Can I just pretend to be you? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Fred. Good luck and safe travels. Thanks. I need it. Yeah, maybe I'll follow you out too, because I don't really want to stay here for that long either. Go. Quickly now. Gangster costume unlocked. Nosedive. We got... Ooh, Evernote Blackwood. Have we seen him somewhere? He's got a huge cataract here. The meeting spot. Sam Reed Street between Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. Flooded office. Do we have to go back to Throgmorton after this one, or...? I don't think so. All we gotta do is directly go there. What about the historical heritage thing? Uh, this used to be an okay place to live. What are you selling, mister? I don't see any goods. <sighs> I offer what everyone in this Borg needs most. Safety and comfort. You a newcomer? Where are you staying? The Devil's Reef Hotel. <laughs> oh, old Victor always thinks so small. A man of your talents could earn his board a hundred ways. Maybe you want some more spending money? Looks like I found another side case. And a job for a private eye, mister? I'm always up for a good side gig. Huh, that's what I like to hear. I'm Walter. 
I need someone capable to take care of an issue on my property. Local fauna, if you know what I mean. Let me guess. You need a gun for hire. Or is there another task? I need you to place these incense burners on the top floor of my properties to drive off the wild beasts. Take a photo for me as proof. Smoke that repels wild beasts? Does that even work? Of course it will. No doubt. I bought it from a friend I trust. Well, okay. Just give me the address. Real estate's a risky business. How'd you get into it? All my life I was a common fisk trader. But I wanted more. I dreamed of being a landlord. A man who never works. <laughs> so I scrimped and saved, and bought several houses. Gonna rent them to the refugees and newcomers. And I have even greater plans. Real estate when the city is sinking? <laughs> okay. See you later. Well, we'll see. Damn, you have multiple houses. You've got to be joking me. Uh, if we go near it, maybe. I'll mark it on my map just in case. The fish market you see now was sponsored by the generous Blackwood family and maintained by the honorable Marsh family from Innsmouth. Marsh family. Ah, we need to look at the plaque first. That's how we get this. What are you doing? You can't just kill us all. That's our market. Oh my god. The Black Hoods will continue to support the Innsmouthers, and we expect the Marsh family to keep their word too. But yet, they're killing people? Who's killing who? Who's killing who? Being good Christians, we're giving the Innsmouth refugees a chance to earn their bread. So pack up and leave the fish market. Time to figure this out. They're shooing somebody else out. These people are the ones with guns, so they were trying to get somebody. What are you doing? You can't just kill us all. That's our market. They're holding the gun first, right? And then maybe they're getting... Oh, hold on. Maybe it's this way. One. The Blackwoods will continue to support the Innsmouthers. And we ex What are you doing? Being this one I feel Christians, like is not as clear. We're giving the Innsmouth refugees a chance to earn their bread. So pack up and leave the fish market. No. Being Maybe they got warned first, but they came in the anyway. Mouth refugee. What are you doing? You can't just kill us all. The Blackwoods will continue to support the Innsmouthers, and we expect the Marsh family to keep their word too. The Innsmouthers took over the fish market with the help of the Blackwoods, who cut a tidy deal with the Marshes. Oh, is that how it went? So now the Innsmouther family, they're not a grand family, but they're starting to get a bit of a foothold in the whole place. I see, I see. Well, perfect. We just learned about the Blackwoods, and we are going to go meet a Blackwood. Nosedive. The dude is... In Reed Heights. Dude is in the flooded office around here somewhere. Oh no! Maybe this is okay too? <laughs> well, we got it working somehow. Am I in the right place though? Oh, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Excuse me! Oh my god! The KKK are here! Hey, I recognize them this time. 
Join us. Were they expecting to kill Fred? Oh my god. The killer knew what he was doing. A clean strike and deep. This guy was killed by them too. Ah, this is an Evernote. Okay, let's look around this place normally first, because we don't know how many people are here. There might be more than two. Oh! oh sh <laughs> Get out. Leave now. Really wasn't quite expecting this. Note of warning. We have warned you, yet still you return. This is our final message. Go back underwater or die. Reed Heights is under our protection. The police won't help you. No one will. Are they talking to the Innsmouthers directly? Because they kind of come from under the water, don't they? Their ancestors, at least. The only taste that truly satisfies Dunwich Pear. Oh, this is very cruel. This is an Evernote. Ah, jeez. Poor bastard. Yeah, we've met some really nice Innsmouthers. Rick Grimes. Some of them donate to orphanages and all that. Oh, shoot, man. Man-eating eels! There you go. Nobody else is here? This is an Evernote. It's all in's mothers. To Professor Doe. Dear Professor Doe, I appreciate your quick response. It's unfortunate that meeting in person would implicate us both. Your hallucinations do indeed sound unusual, and the asylum hacks wouldn't be able to make any sense of it. But I can. Just recently, I've read about a certain phenomenon that contains commonalities to these visions. At a later date, I will inform you of my findings. Keep me updated about any new fits you experience, and please, stay safe. It is absolutely paramount that you do. Kind regards, Evernote Blackwood. Professor Doe has also been having visions. It's been quite a while, so I nearly forgot why we're looking for her. She was a professor of the expedition that went underwater, and she found that artifact. And that's pretty much all we know about her. What is this advertising? Ideal winter resort? In all chaos, there is a cosmos. In all disorder, a secret order. Secret order is right. I am not what has happened to me. I am what I choose to become. Why... Why were there the KKK here, though? What's the KKK's relation to Blackwood? Women work, women vote. Did they just Google a whole bunch of posters back in the day and put it in here? Someone shot this place up good. Translation notes. CA24? The one savior will seal the gates. N-E-X-M-M-C-I-I-I. Is that 2,103? Hundreds will fall while one succeeds. The will of the one will break the cycle, for there can only be one, one to pass through. Oh, is this some kind of puzzle? Huh. Someone shot this place up good. Well, there's nobody here. Was that what the guy was gonna lead me to? Probably. We're under attack. We're all... No, Blackwood's not working with the KKK. I surrender. Take 
me and let my people leave. But they didn't. They killed everybody. The Imperial Wizard's gonna deal with you, Blackwood. I think we looked at everything in chronological order just now. Maybe they'll finally get it. The Order ain't welcome in this part of town. Time to figure this out. The Order? As in the EOD? I think we looked at it exactly in the chronological order just now. Mr. Blackwood, we're under attack. We're all... I surrender. Take me and let my people leave. The Imperial Wizard's gonna... Maybe they'll finally get it. The Order ain't welcome in this part of town. The meeting place was attacked. Ebernote was carried off while his escort's bodies were left as a warning. So no, they weren't targeting... Fred. Good thing Fred left. Because otherwise, he'd be one of the dead bodies right here. Not the first, not the last. The attackers left a note saying they're willing to kill again, and that Reed Heights is under their protection. One Savior. Evernote has studied a number of occult texts where the One Savior has been a reoccurring theme. Black- hey, maybe that's me. Blackwood Doe Correspondence. Blackwood talked to Professor Doe about the nature of her visions. Hooded Massacre. Evernote's party was brutally attacked by a group of hooded men. Blackwood begged for his men to be spared, but none were. Fishface is not welcome. The meeting place in Reed Heights fell under a well-organized assault. Evernote Blackwood was taken prisoner, and his associates were massacred. The attackers did not fear the police, and this obviously wasn't their first act. They wore hoods and used knives. Apparently, they are trying to keep the Innsmouthers away from the right side of tracks. Since they all wear hoods and stuff, maybe some of them are part of the police. Just like how we saw in the cult underwater. There were policemen down there. Oh, maybe Professor Doe is the one savior? No. Not just yet. Okay. Hmm. They think they own Reed Heights. The asylum hacks wouldn't be able to make any sense of it. Should I go to the asylum? Because otherwise, it doesn't seem like... Oh, this has an icon on it, so we can find a place with this one. The attackers did not fear the police, and this obviously wasn't their first act. Is that supposed to tell me to go to the police? The evidence I'm looking for should be this one. Crimes. Violent crimes? Subjects, suspects. Evidence... Eh, Reed Heights District. The Orion Club. Felony lynching. Suspects. Z. H. Comstock. C. Borshoff. Unidentified accomplices. Is Comstock supposed to be a Bioshock Infinite reference? Confirmed victims. Eight males with Innsmouth Syndrome. Status. Closed by public demand. What? Oh my god, you guys are all treating Innsmouthers like crap. Category, Homicide, District Reed Heights, December 9. Suspects apprehended at the Orion Club. Ties to KKK confirmed. December 11. Case closed by public demand. Suspects released. Dang. St. Michael's Road. Let's go. Orion Gentleman's Club. Should I be readying my weapons? Maybe I'll craft a little bit, just in case. Oh, when did I get that? Oh, I have a battle rifle! Maybe I got it at the end of last case? Only five bullets. Should I give it a try here? Hopefully we won't have to, but I'll reload just in case. Oh, we can only reload one bullet. It's kind of dodgy. Oh my god. Led to death. What's going on here? Oh, not even one bullet can kill this thing. Oh, disappointing. 
can't kill the thing with one bullet. But this is the KKK headquarters. But they're dead here. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! What? What? Are you doing? <laughs> it made me kill an officer. Oh my god. Oh. I killed an officer, but only because you made me. He must have thought I killed somebody in here, but I was just killing the beast. Dang. Okay. A lot of KKK photos here, I suppose. Hmm, which one's my most reliable gun? This one's not so bad, because I got a lot of bullets for it. Oh my lord. Wanna throw a firebomb? Or, do we want to try using a brick and see what it does? It just noticed me! <laughs> That's all that happened. Woo! Don't read! Whoa! Things are starting to get more and more dangerous around here. Well, they got a ton of robes here. And more... Demonic... Absolutely demonic happenings. Supplies, robes, costumes... What was that? Evernote? You look like you've been run over, pal. What happened? What does it look like? It was that damned prisoner. You mean Evernote, the preacher? I don't know. We didn't exchange business cards. One of the order. Then I'm just a guard. I need a rest. And a stiff drink. They captured him, and he broke out here. So is there anyone around here who knows what's going on? Go ask the wizard. Upstairs. Is it... Is it getting dark in here? Oh, uh, you can bleed to death for all I care. You brought this on yourself when you joined the clan. Mare, take you. Do you want me to kill you? I can do that too. Oh... How did they do that? Oh my god. I'm still not too sure what that skill is after all this time. Is it just me not seeing things properly? Was there a wall here for him too? Or was it just for me? Mm. A bird. Oh, this was open. Ah, this is an Evernote. It's another Inn's mother. You went up. <clears throat> Are we expecting any KKK to be here? The fireplace. EOD is banned. Oh yeah, that's what they were saying earlier. They don't like the oh, order. Butch. KKK orders. Evernote Blackwood is behind on his rent. There may have been enough warnings. Send men to make an example of his operation. Make it look good for the newspapers. They are fish faces after all. P.S. See what he was up to while you're at it. 
If Blackwood's trustworthy, I'm gosh darn Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, so it sounds like they might not hate Inn's mother specifically, but they know that it's easy to kill them because nobody will really complain about that because not many people like Inn's mothers to begin with. What do we got here? Oh, do I have to do the crow thing from the beginning? Oh. Oh, you wanted me to pick this up. Or no. I can go up even more. Let me see if I can't use some of my supplies here. I got a lot going on now. All the grenades I want, all the firebombs I want. And, oh my goodness, I have three points. Wow, I guess I must have been not checking for quite a while. Sane? This is okay. Oh my god, earlier when we killed that officer, the bar completely depleted. Hmm. More crafting supplies. What's the one at the end here? Additional 10% chance to save materials when crafting. No, I guess I'll have that for now. 50% chance to double quest rewards. Remaining sane. Anything to make my battle rifle more useful? Carry one more grenade and firebomb? Sure. Carry three more rifle rounds? Why not? Okay. Now I can make some more here. Cool. Okay, good. Everything is in disarray. Ooh. That is not normal. Agreed. Very much agreed. Ooh, that's a beast. I thought that was a person. <laughs> Instinctively went in here. Oh, just wild beasts? Oh, there's a big one too. We're fine. Oh! More? Down there. Whatever, stay down there. Hmm, they were having a lot of trouble with these beasts, too. Look at these things. Someone's way too fond of causing pain. Well, optimistically, maybe they're just regular tools? The Confession. I, Eberno Blackwood, am innocent. My only goal is to save the city from its descent into madness and ensure the safety of Harriet Doe. Not sure why he bothered leaving a confession here. Fake your funny Blackwood. A confession. A real one. Write it down while you've still got fingers. Ah. They were making him. Well, it seems like Blackwood got out okay, so I'm not too worried. But he might have been tortured quite a bit before that really happened. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh! No! No time! Oh... If only I had the foresight. I didn't get to use a trap in time, unfortunately. You're annoying! Get out of here, please!
They are taking a bit of health away from me, bit by bit. That is another KKK member. Poor won't budge. Doesn't seem like these guys are prepared for the beasts at all. I don't want to deal with you today. Leave me be. Oh, there's a big one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. You guys are really freaking me out. Oh, good thing I have supplies for even more. And that's it. This is the last floor. Just a sec. Will we be okay? Uh, hey, you can't just waltz in here. This club is off limits to non-members, especially you damn newcomers. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? The club is a blasted war zone. I've got wounded here and we're all on edge. Who are you, anyway? Charles Reed, private investigator. I'm looking for one of your recent, uh, guests. Right, you mean that bloody preacher from the fish market? This is all his fault. He was the one who summoned those beasts. You're talking about your exclusive club when half the people in the building are dead already? Summoned them? <laughs> You're kidding me. How did he pull that off? Pull that off? Do I look like some rotten fish-faced warlock to you? How should I know? He just did! And all in all that commotion he escaped. AKA, you have no idea what you're really talking about. Was the preacher's name Evernote by any chance? That's the one. We've been hunting down that slimy drock for weeks. Oh, that seems like a lot of trouble to go to. And why bother? What's so special about him? He's a pain in the ass, is what? That man doesn't have any respect for the way things are done around here. <laughs> this should be good. So what did he do to cross you exactly? Look around. This place is crawling with wild beasts. It's obvious he's up to no good. We'd never have known a thing about it if he wasn't behind in his damned rent. <laughs> rent? Oh, don't tell me you jokers are landlords now. It's no joke. You know how it is. Reed Heights, Advent, Old Grove. Dangerous places without the right kind of protection. Oh, protection money. Okay. If I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like a protection racket to me. Exactly. Your words, not mine. Besides, our group's gotta get funding somehow. Robes and ammunition aren't cheap. Why are you not wearing the robe? Did anyone see where he went? I'd bet good money he went back to his hideout. I'll go after him. But I have to take care of my wounded men first. So, you gonna tell me where he is? It's your life, buddy. The scouts I sent after him never came back. Yeah, but I'm not the KKK, so he's not gonna kill me. Who exactly are you? You're addressing the Imperial Wizard Gordon Mayer, <laughs> newcomer. Show some damn respect. Is that an actual rank? <laughs> oh, a wizard. Like Houdini. Yeah, show me a magic trick. What the drock did you just say to me? <laughs> Come on, Gord. Don't be shy. Pull a rabbit out of a hat, or maybe a hood would be more appropriate. That's enough out of your kisser, you little weasel! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Actually pissed them off! <gasps> Oops! I guess we're not talking to these guys again. I didn't think he would get that mad. But we've suffered no losses, so... Huh? You wanna be like your friend there? Cross your heart and hope to fry. You startled me. Love Under the Hood, a romantic novel. 
The whitest whites. Laundry tips for the discerning women. Oh, look at the cover of the book. It's like secret signage to their members. Oh, wow. They put a lot of thought into this. You gonna say anything? The guy's like, we have a lot of wounded here. And he goes and starts attacking me. Okay, whatever works for you, buddy. I didn't get to ask about Evernote's guards, but I feel like that was probably worth it. <laughs> I'll leave you to your own devices here. A beast will probably come get you in due time anyway, so no worries. <laughs>